I'm humbled to be in Australia. I've had a very nice time in Australia. I developed myself academically. My academic knowledge horizon has broadened up. I've been integrating with also people from other countries from all over the world. And I've got more knowledge from them because the more you engage, the more you get to know a lot of things. I've also been involved in extracurricular activities. I've been to the Gold Coast when there was Commonwealth Games. I've been meeting other businesses. We had a group called Meetup, so I've been a member of that group. So I've been meeting business people from the locality where they gather together and discuss their business issues. So they solicit advices from other people. They also try to part, forge partnership with people from other countries. So I've been networking with different people from different countries and also business people as well. So I've really enjoyed myself in Australia. I've visited quite a number of areas here in Australia and beyond. Extracurricular activity was uh, my involvement in the residential hall here because I'm staying on campus. I applied for a residential scholarship and you know was appointed to be a senior resident and I'm involved in you know offering pastoral care and just taking care of my fellow uh, students here to ensure that their academic experience you know is uh, good and whenever they have issues like we address it we point them to where they can get help so that you know they can have a smooth uh, academic experience as well. So yeah, these two extracurricular activities are the ones that I've been involved in. Apart from that, it's just you know the fun that I'll have with my friends. I was able to find time to volunteer in the Christian community where I am a member of. This engagement was underpinned by some kind of uh, leadership training that I probably gave me, uh, gave me access to gain some extracurricular uh, training. From my academic skills to the leadership skills of a game uh, beside my academic skills uh, that are really going to be very useful to me um, in my workplace because I am uh, a public sector worker. I work in the public sector in back home in Nigeria and uh, as the country is transitioning into a newer level, a high level of socioeconomic development, a lot of young people are needed back home in Nigeria with the skills uh, which have gained now to help the country move in the right direction. I've been able to attend, there's like an innovation hub in Canberra that happens every second Wednesday of the month or something like that. And you meet so many people in the tech or in STEM skills and that's interesting, like with their proposals, with their new businesses, entrepreneurs, that's been interesting as well. So there's lots of ideas, there's lots of things. My mind has been open to a lot of different ways of doing things and how like small things make a difference, yeah. In 2017, yeah, I got connected to one um, structural engineer who has quite vast experience, about 38 years of experience in the offshore industry. Yeah, so he's been guiding me, sometimes read through my assignments and advise me on how to present my reports and stuff like that. And yeah, I think he has been quite helpful and he always told me to invite him to Ghana when I get back. <laughs>